closet hanging. Today I am revealing more of your quarantine confessions. You guys have submitted so many confessions to me. I just hope that I can get to reading all of them and shaming all of you. Let's try our best. I never stayed home. I went to the grocery store about 30 times and I traveled a lot. I went to Fort Worth, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Waco, Texas, Houston, Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Florence, Kentucky. I never got Corona though, except you probably did and then gave it to probably like 45 people. I accidentally mistakes my cat's food for actual canned tuna. I ate it. We should be willing and able to eat the food we feed our pets. You know, like if we really love our pets, then we should be able to healthily and happily consume what we feed them. On that note, my cat's food is fucking disgusting and I'm never gonna put my mouth on it. Last week, I missed my boyfriend so bad because of quarantine because we can't have our fucky wucky times no more. Oh my God. Fucky wucky, please no. Please never ever ever say fucky wucky to me again. And I was lonely. So I decided to sneak over to his house and he said he felt a little sick, but I said it's probably just allergies. We had fucky wucky time. Oh my God, I'm going to fucky wucky fucking jump out of my skin. And I snuck back home. My parents didn't even notice I was gone. But a few days later, I felt sick too. And my parents barricaded me in my room because they were worried I had Corona and our grandpa lives with us. But soon my mom and brother also felt sick and grandpa. Grandpa is in the hospital now. Moral of the story, kids, keep your asses in your house until quarantine is over. No fucky wucky -ing. Is it bad that I really want my old math teacher to get the coronavirus slash COVID-19 slash whatever the fuck you want to call it? Because Jesus fucking Christ, she's in a way. I don't know if she's just like that or if she needs some dick. <laughs> LMAO. Let's all just agree to stop fantasizing about killing people. Just reel it in with the death wishes. On that note, here's a list of people I wouldn't mind dying from coronavirus. First, please, can you read this in a British accent because I'm from here, duh. <laughs> okay. So I've been in lockdown Florentine shit for a while now and I haven't left my house at all. So one time I was so bored and plus my PS4 broke. So I couldn't play Just Dance 2020 or Fortnite. I'm 17 years old and I play Fortnite, deal with it. So because of this, I was fucking bored, like literally out of my mind. So I was sitting on my bed when I got really horny and my dick started to grow. So I grabbed my phone and decided to watch some gay porn. By the way, I'm gay. And I was wanking off, my AirPods disconnected. And it was on full volume as well. My mom heard this and thought I was injured, but instead she came up seeing her 17 year old son winking off to gay porn. She looked mortified and I remember we both screamed. But instead of grabbing my phone and walking out to tell my dad, she just walked out of the room and said, I kid you not, it looks like your father's. WTF. Oh my God. After that, my family found out I was gay and I cannot look at my mom the same and now she's trying to have the talk with me. Ah, oh, ugh. I don't know before three fucking days ago, say my da dick looked just like my dad like holy bloody fucking me. Whoa, what just happened? I don't know if that was a me issue or a you issue, but that made no sense. All I know is that your dick looks like your dad's sick and that is cool. Wow, like father, like son. I've always been told that I look like my mom, so I wonder if our vaginas look the same. So before I start, I'm a stripper and my parents don't know. So I was in quarantine and my mom was making my bed because I was doing my work and I realized that I have hid all my money I made from being a stripper was hidden under my mattress. She found it and grounded me even though we were all technically grounded. My mom thought I was a drug dealer, but I couldn't tell her the truth. She hasn't spoken to me since, it's been a week. What's worse, if you were to have a child with a load of money under their mattress, would you prefer that they be a drug dealer or a stripper? Let me know. I think I'd go stripper. I feel like you should just tell your mom, like, hey mom, don't worry, I'm not a drug dealer. I'm a stripper. I have watched a fuckload of Netflix TV shows and movies and I'm slowly losing my mind. I haven't had fresh air in three weeks. I've been going to bed at 5 a.m. and having naps throughout the day in between hours and I haven't shaved anything apart from my mustache because I'm a girl and I look like an Asian mass man with hairy caterpillar that sits on the top of my lip. I've been letting my, air, my armpit hair grow out and it's so exhilarating. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, <laughs> I'm hoping that I can braid it eventually. Give this video a thumbs up to support the growth of my armpit hair. I'm an only child. <laughs> 
Yikes. I don't mean to be a bitch, but like, have you guys noticed that there's something up with only children? Like when I find out that someone I know is an only child, I'm usually like, yeah, okay. That makes sense. So thanks to the lovely COVID-19, the past 18 days of quarantine have just been me and the TV. Both parents are in healthcare and therefore still working. I was sobbing over Love is Blind on Netflix when the doorbell rings, signaling that the groceries had been delivered. The lady just kind of stood at the door waiting to make sure I heard the bell. My door is glass so she could see me. And it makes my dog go crazy. So I get up to kennel him so I can get the groceries without him escaping and trip over him. I hit the stone floor face first and she's knocked out both of my front teeth and broke my nose. Blood is everywhere. That's when the delivery lady decides to leave. The exact moment that I raise my bloody face from the floor. Still love my dog and finally getting a nose job. Cheers to that. Cheers to accidents that allow us to get the cosmetic surgeries we've always dreamt of. Yay COVID. My boyfriend and I always have sex with YouTube playing in the background so my parents don't hear us and one time during our quarantine your corona song started playing while we were doing it. We just kept going. He didn't know it was your song but I was laughing on the inside. I'll link that song down below if you want to fuck to it also. Oh my God, hi Alex, I love you so much, but here's my quarantine confession. I'm a college student and I live in my dorm and I have a roommate named Veronica. She's kind of mean to be honest, but whatever. She's one of the popular kids and her parents have a lot of money. She left the dorms and didn't pack anything. So me being the smartest girl ever, I decided to sell all of her stuff on Swap Me and made $500 from one of her Chanel dresses. I Googled it and the dress was custom made worth over $3,000. I sold almost all of her things and made a lot of cash. Two days later, she texted me and asked, can I bring her suitcase to her mom's house and she would pay me a hundred dollars and I did she paid me and little does she know she only has two shirts one skirt and one pair of shoes left first off I think you could have done better with your illegal scheming okay five hundred dollars for a three thousand dollar dress secondly you said her name and probably just about enough information for her to sue you spend that money real fast because you're not gonna have it for long I don't think my 17th birthday is gonna be over quarantine and it makes me wanna cry because I was gonna go to a drag queen restaurant, but now I can't. I didn't do anything last year to celebrate my birthday either, so I wanted to do something fun this year and now it's canceled. Ah, I can do drag for you. I know the perfect song. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly. I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? Right before all the bars and restaurants closed due to the coronavirus, I went to the bar at 1 a.m. on a Saturday night. I was wearing all black, a hoodie and leggings, with tie-dye Crocs. Oh my god, that's the only mistake you made. Respect the drip, Karen. <laughs> I was quiet and avoided people. I just sat alone and didn't talk to anyone. I was not approachable. It's the Crocs. And because of being the sadist I am, I loudly ordered a Corona beer. The bar went silent. It was bliss. I'm glad you were amused. You know, you gotta take the small wins nowadays. There's been a trend going on TikTok about drawing you own nudes, so I did mine. My parents liked to look at my drawings, so they did. Cutting the story short, my father called a nude drawing of his daughter pretty hot. Did he know it was you? Oh my God, ugh. But it makes sense, you know? Cause like you are your mother's daughter. I'm having an existential crisis. I'm split between two houses. I live with my mom on weekends and on the weekdays I live with my manager and a few other employees. Let's just say quarantine causing us teens to go nuts. We're all under 20. Typically I sleep on the couch because it's cozy, but the house my coworkers and I live in is haunted and I finally saw the ghost and now I sleep in my manager's bed with her. She be straight. I be gay. Why are, why are you sleeping with the people you work with? What the fuck kind of job do you have? However, we both sleep cuddle. 3 a.m. sleep cuddles turn into 3 a.m. sleep cuddles and a lot of kisses and then a lot of hanky-panky. Well, we both really liked it and now we can't stop. But I fucked my manager. Work will never be the same when we all go back. Am I freaking out too much about this? Is it okay to sleep with your manager? Well, there was my quarantine existential crisis. Help, help. I can't believe I fucked my manager. Wow. I don't think that's an existential crisis. That's a very, like, tangible crisis. So first off, I think you've labeled the, the issue incorrectly, although who am I to tell you your experience, you know? Also, what the fuck kind of job do you have and why are you sleeping 
with your coworkers. I don't really know what to make of it. Clearly neither do you. Best of luck. My neighbors were visiting Italy when lockdown there was announced and they couldn't get a flight back home before the border shut. I had been feeding their cat so I have a key to their house. So obviously I had to keep going over there until they got back. Context, my neighbors are super conservative homophobic Bible bashers, and I am a raging atheist lesbian with a goddess of a girlfriend. They don't know. Although getting stuck in Italy in the middle of a deadly pandemic seems like pretty good karma. I thought I'd spice things up a little and help the universe out with delivering a just sentence. So I invited my girlfriend to their house. We got drunk off their alcohol and ground up Bud in their kitchen, then got high out in their backyard, which all felt like a pretty good punishment. However, what was the most satisfying was fucking first in their master bedroom and then in the shower. The shower head, I fear, will never quite be the same. The best part is we didn't do this just once. Oh no, that would be far too simple. We did this on and off for around a week before our country went on lockdown and we had to stop. By the end of the week, we had fucked in every room that didn't have a lock. When and if they get back, they will have no idea that we had lesbian sex where they sleep, eat, watch TV, and wash, stole their best tequila, and then poured shitty cheap stuff in the bottle, and used their cooking knife to prepare the weed we got high with in the backyard. Fuck you, Lisa and Charles. Karma is a bitch when you're a discriminatory asshole. Did you even take care of their cat? What's going on with the cat? That's my concern. Last week was on the Zoom live stream with one of my classes and tripped on the poor dog falling face first onto the ground, smashing my fucking computer in the process. Being the cool mofo I am, I tried to play it off. Once I finally picked myself back up, I soon realized that one of my boobs was introducing themselves to my teacher. Fantastic way to word a nip slip. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just my tit wanted to introduce itself to you. After hearing this man say, oh, hello there, to my whole ass nip slip has left me with PTSD. So I pre-flashed my whole Christian English class trying to learn about Shakespeare. To nip or not to slip? That is the question. This really has nothing to do with quarantine and shit, but I'm bored and, well, I am in quarantine, so I'm gonna share a really embarrassing story with you anyways. I'm from Australia, and here we have people called Eshes. I'm not gonna go in and explain what they are, look it up and you'll see. Where I'm from, they are everywhere, and I'm a little bit of a sucker for a mullet. <laughs> One night I was at my best friend's party and there was a hot Eshe and he had a sexy mullet, not gonna lie. I was a little bit tipsy actually, a little bit kinda really drunk but sober enough to make smart decisions but in this case it was not. So we were flirting and he asked me if I wanted to go upstairs so we went into my best friend's room and we started having sexy time raw. If you know what I mean. I think I do. Kinda feel bad for doing it in her bed and she still doesn't know, I'm just gonna leave it. Anyways, the next morning I had to go get the morning after pill or plan B or whatever you guys call it. So I get it and I'm in line at the register then suddenly here's someone saying my name and I turn around and there was my mother. And we are both holding the morning after pill in our hands. My parents are divorced. Oh my God, you guys are so on the same page. So in sync, that's awesome. I tell you, I've never been so mortified in my whole life. We stood there for a good minute staring at each other and then pretended like nothing happened because it was so awkward. Anyways, love your work. I'm crying. I love your work. I love the work you and your mother do together. <laughs> If there was ever an ideal situation where you had to run into your parent while buying the morning after pill, this situation would be that they too are buying the morning after pill. They can't really, they can't really scold you. That story is everything. It's juicy. It's touching. It's scandalous. It's the last secret in this video. <laughs> Wow, we're, we really ended on a high note here. Those were your quarantine confessions. If you want to submit a confession or more than one confession, I will leave a link down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe. I upload videos almost every Thursday and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Yeah, I wish I could. You good? Did you drink water? Did you eat? Have you worked out?